we will start now chapter 5 separation of substances now before we start with separation let us first of all we know about what are the pure substances what are mixtures what are different types of mixtures what are the properties of mixtures first of all you must know what are pure substances pure substances are those substances which contain uh, one type of uh, elements or compounds or we can say the substances which contain one type of atoms or one type of molecules. Now, as we have discussed earlier also, pure uh, substances are of two types elements and compounds. Element contains only one kind of atoms. The smallest particle of an element is atom and this uh, smallest particle of an element atom uh, shows all the properties of that element like gold. The smallest particle of gold is gold atom and gold is made up of gold atoms. So, it contains only one kind of atoms. The second type of pure substance is compound. Compound is made up of two or more elements which combine in a definite ratio. <coughs> now, in uh, a compound, the elements, different elements are present in a definite ratio and the properties of the compound are different than the properties of the constituent elements from which the compound is made. Uh, let us take the example of water. Water is made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Now, hydrogen easily catches fire and oxygen supports burning and uh, water extinguishes fire. So, you can see how different the properties of uh, compound is than that of the constituent elements from which it is made up of and also the constituents cannot easily be separated uh, from the compound by simple methods. Then what is a mixture? In a mixture, two or more substances are mixed in any ratio. Ratio can uh, not be fixed. Uh, two elements or two compounds or elements and compounds are mixed together in any ratio and uh, a mixture forms. There are so many naturally occurring mixtures like air. Air is a mixture of so many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and uh, the inert gases. Then sea water is a mixture of water in which so many uh, salts are dissolved. And then milk is a mixture and wood is a mixture of cellulose and water. Now, mixtures are of two types, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Now, if you dissolve salt in water, you will get a very clear solution. You cannot uh, uh, find out uh, salt, you cannot separate uh, salt from water. It forms a homogeneous mixture. Now, in a homogeneous mixture, the constituents are uniformly spread throughout. It has a uniform composition throughout. So, salt solution, sugar solution, all these are examples of homogeneous mixture. Now, if you uh, mix, uh, similarly, yes, air also is a homogeneous mixture. Now, if you mix sand and salt, you can see sand separately and salt separately. Our you mix uh, chalk powder in water. Chalk powder will settle down and you can easily see chalk powder and water separately. So, it forms a heterogeneous mixture. In heterogeneous mixture, the constituents are not uniformly spread throughout. It does not have a uniform composition throughout its mass. Now, what are the various properties of a mixture? Totally different than that of a compound. In a mixture, the constituents are mixed in any ratio, ratio is not fixed and also the properties of the constituents of a mixture 
remain the same in a mixture also that is mixture in a mixture the constituents retain their properties the properties of the constituents do not change and also the constituents of a mixture can easily be separated by simple physical methods so these are the th three main properties and totally different than the properties of a compound now let us uh, see some uh, daily life examples uh, of uh, separating the constituents of a mixture now see this picture ardhan picture in which card is being churned by a wooden churner and uh, this uh, by churning the curd uh, butter separates and buttermilk separates and both are very useful components both can be used in uh, different ways also you must have seen your mother peeling the pods of pea to separate pea from pea shell now peas you must be fond of eating and pea shells do not have any uh, nutritive value so pea shells generally are thrown away and the peas are used to cook the food then you must have seen the uh, tea prepared in the house and uh, to separate the tea leaves from tea a strainer is used so this is also one of the separation process which is performed with the help of a strainer and also uh, you, in the previous chapter you studied in the chapter of fiber to fabric you must have studied about how the uh, co how cotton is separated from the cotton seeds by the process of ginning and both are useful components cotton is also very useful and cotton seeds are also useful so see, these are some of the daily life uh, examples now let uh, uh, let me ask you a question a very simple question a basket is there in which these uh, uh, fruits and vegetables are mixed uh, like onions brinjals guavas apples and mangoes and if you are asked to separate them how will you separate think it's a very simple question very simple answer is that you will pick up each fruit and vegetable and keep keep it separately it's very easy isn't it it is easy yes but if you are asked to separate sand and sugar how will you do it now this is a bit difficult thing it is not easy sugar is so small sand is uh, fine it is not easy to separate sand and sugar so we'll study some more about mixtures and how we can separate the various components of mixture and what is the need to separate the components of the mixture